I'd come to the coastal town of Tynemouth to see the latest craze in the health and fitness sector, cold water therapy. The practice involves submerging yourself in water below 12 degrees Celsius for short periods of time and has risen in popularity following the escapades of the so-called Iceman, Wim Hof. Now, the North East can boast its very own Iceman in the form of Salt Turk. He recently completed 100 consecutive days of cold water therapy here at Colour Coats Bay, battling storms, snow and high seas in the coldest months of the year. And as I found out, he was quite the character, with an amazing story to tell. Hello, uh, my name is Sol. I'm 42 year old, from Turkey. I'm practicing the cold water therapy and moving exercises. Whilst cold water therapy is dramatically understudied, there are provable physical and mental benefits, with Sol using it to turn his life around after a mentally challenging lockdown period. We had awful two years with the lockdown, and I know what it feels like living with the blackness. I used to go out, drink alcohol, take drugs, and I thought is I can escape from my problems. Next day, affects this whole thing makes you twice as more down and depressed so is no stranger to adversity having spent time in the turkish special forces and he needed what he described as a healthy addiction to move him away from substance abuse that's when he found cold water therapy so um, 1999 i joined the turkish forces as a commando when i finished my national service in 2004, I moved to England. I just wanted to change my life. I was looking for something different, something powerful. And when I seen the guy called Wim Hof, the Iceman, I think I need to, uh, that's, that was what I was looking for. I needed something like very strong. Not 30 days, not 60 days. I needed something longer to get rid of my habits and makes me feel good and that's what i done this challenge for i was there 100 coldest day of the year determinedly every morning so began his journey by learning about breathing exercises which help prepare your body for the cold after this he fully immerses himself in the water for up to half an hour and claims that the effects are life-changing cold water therapy is incredibly good for your mind and for your body what I do is I just go to the beach stand there not talking just thinking and then I just walk in water is about five to six degrees and you did this in winter whole winter snowing raining storm doesn't matter it just makes me feel amazing I feel good I'm totally different person I'm healthier, happier, a lot of energy, I'm more stronger, physically and mentally. Following his success, Sol decided to share his passion by forming a group with his friend Marnie. The group has gained over 1,400 members online in just a few weeks and has weekly meetings where members of the group brave the water together. It's called, Sol and Marnie is called water therapy. Just helping out people who are out there suffering problems stress, anxiety. Despite the general lack of study into the benefits, Marnie has seen its effects personally in her career as a sports psychologist and mental health counsellor. When you enter cold water and you're adapted to it, what happens is the parasympathetic nervous system starts to come into play. And that is the calming centre of the nervous system, which helps people who are coping with anxiety. Once that balances out with the sympathetic nervous system, it can help people manage anxiety. She describes the balancing out of cortisol and adrenaline by the cold water as a way of preparing your mind and body for similar fight or flight situations, allowing you to manage these scenarios better in the future. Cold water therapy, what that does, it gives you the perfect opportunity to be able to practice getting comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. At the minute, the NHS is overwhelmed and people with mental health issues are not getting the help they need when they need it. I think in 10 years time, it may well be that cold water therapy is prescribed as a treatment 
for anxiety and or depression. Having heard so much about it and its effects, I decided to brave the cold water myself at one of the group meetings. <laughs> so I began by splashing my body, a trick to help first timers like myself acclimatise to six degree water. He then led me deeper before submerging me slowly, all the while practising his deep breathing method. Despite the initial shock, I could see why everyone found it so addictive. It felt like a total mental reset, a feeling shared by others in the group, such as 73-year-old Maura, who began attending group meetings in the hope of aiding her battle against Parkinson's disease. This group was amazing yeah. because they, they get so much from them. Yeah. They, I mean, being part of them is, is what makes me feel so good about it. Really? Yeah, what, absolutely. What, what specifically about it makes you feel like that? It's so, just so warm and welcoming and... Um, I, I don't know what it is exactly it is, I can't put my finger on it, but it, there's something really welcoming about it. It was easy to see why the group had grown so much. People found warmth in the cold, and there was something special about sharing this experience with others, something that Sol felt particularly proud of. I can see the people in the group, and they are changing. They become more happier and healthier and stronger, and that makes me a more happier person as well when I see people happy. It's not just all about the cold water albs, it's all community. I started by myself and now it's getting more and more and more each day. And a lot of people asking me, can I join your group? All different backgrounds, uh, all different ages. Youngest one, 10, she comes with her mom. And oldest ones, all about 70 year old something. This community feel is essential to the group. The people that were brought together by the love of cold water stay for the friends that they make and this message has spread across the world. My name is Julie and I live in Eastern Canada. Greetings from sunny Cape Town, South Africa. Coming to you from beautiful sunny Bavaria. So here I am. This is Rincon Beach, Ventura, California. The Northeast Iceman and the group that he and Marnie formed is now known the world over and their love of cold water therapy continues to grow. Have you got shoulders on? Yeah, yeah, yeah.